Hello, this is Half Monty. As you can tell, this world is randomly generating around me. You can kind of see it popping up. This is Minecraft. If you haven't played this game before, um, I recommend you give it a shot. That's kind of what uh, the purpose of this video is, is for. It's kind of for me to have fun, because uh, getting some user input would be uh, interesting, fun. Um, but uh, also, I want to spread the word about this game. It's really fun. It's um, uh, The version I'm playing is called Survival Mode. You have to pay... Uh, uh, to get this version of the game, but there is a free version where you can just be completely creative if you want. I kind of like the fact that there's a cave right there, right next to my spawn. Um, looks like there's going to be quite a few caves. I'm going to go grab some trees right now. It, it, if you play this game before and you notice it looks a little different, no, uh, Notch didn't update <laughs> the graphics. This is a higher res um, skin, texture skin for everything. Oh, is this a cave right here? Oh, that is nice. That is nice. There's some iron right there. Or, a lot of people call it iron, but to me it looks like bronze, and when you smelt it, it turns into steel or iron or whatever. But, oh well. Anyway, there's. It's just, just kind of a general names that people call things, but I don't know if that's actually what Notch wants them to be called. Because people call that iron, and iron is not bronze colored like that. But, oh well. I don't. I didn't make the game. I'll call it whatever everybody else is calling it. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing wood. Because <clears throat> wood, you need to get started, basically. Um, actually, I'm going to smash these leaves and pick up uh, the saplings that drop. It's a good thing to do, uh, especially in your starting area. If you're going to knock down a lot of trees, you can plant the trees again. Okay. Okay. Oh, and one thing you might notice if you've played this game before, and you, like I said, notice the the texture difference. The um, it does look pretty nice, but waterfalls and water animations don't work on higher res, uh, uh, higher res uh, skins. It's kind of an annoyance, but I'm sure Notch will eventually fix that. He kind of uh, seems to not mind the fact that people are modding a little bit. Um, and oh, did I? Do I have my skin on? Oh, yep. Yeah. This is my... <laughs> not the best in the world. This is my Guybrush Threepwood skin. <laughs> I was kind of going for a Monkey Island. Because uh, what I wanted to do <laughs> with my first Let's Play video was actually do a Monkey Island. Because I don't think there's any Let's Play Monkey Islands on YouTube right now. That's something I might do in the future. Monkey Island, I'm talking the original, not the remakes or anything. Um, uh, or the newer versions of Monkey Island. Uh, Secret of Monkey Island. That's my absolute favorite game of all time. I always I get uh, Scum VM and I play that once every now and then. Okay, I've got actually a buttload of wood because I've been doing this for a little bit longer than I should have. Um, you really only need like 12. That's, I think that's a recommended amount. 12 pieces of wood to get started. <clears throat> that's enough to get your sticks and your tools out of the way. And I already have a kind of little cave picked out where I want to start. Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of trees. I'm gonna plant them all, cause, I, I mean, you need wood. Boop. Boop. And I've heard, directly beneath, which that this might be doable, directly beneath red flowers, this is just, you know, who knows if this person's telling the truth or not, directly beneath red flowers, there's a diamond. Uh, I don't know about that. Not directly beneath, but like, somewhere below. I don't really know if I'll test that theory out, but that's a good cave to test it out on. Okay, let's see. Where was my cave that I wanted to... I'm going to plant a few more trees, because they just look nice. Sometimes they get in the way. But okay, Let me take a kind of a scope of the area. I know the cave is like right underneath here. Let me take a little scope of the area. Let's see, all right. What time is it in the day? Okay, it's about noon. The, is, the sun is basically just like a big lens flare. It's part of the texture map. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Well, I kind of like this area. There's a coal right here. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and get some of that. <clears throat> this is my crafting area. Uh, again, I'm just going to try to narrate everything in case you're a newbie. Uh, this is the crafting area. You can make anything that needs only two square, four squares um, uh, to make. So you can turn wood into planks in your own inventory, but uh, 
one thing you're going to want to need to do if you want to make tools is use those planks you just made. Uh, you draw a little box with them and you can make a crafting table. Now with that crafting table I'm going to click on it and it actually, hey, that's kind of cool. It actually has, <laughs> it's part of the texture map, uh, has the crafting area drawn on top. Okay, and then with these you take uh, one stack right over another stack. It doesn't matter where you do it, they just have to be drawn in the right pattern. You can't do it next to it, can't do it diagonally, it has to be over it. It can be over here, whatever. I think you're kind of getting the idea. So I'm going to make a bunch of sticks, because you're going to need a lot of sticks. And then I'm going to make one pick out of wood. I never make more than one thing. I only make, out of wood, I only make one pick. Sorry, it's hard to say that. I don't know why. Because <laughs> you're about to start digging into some earth. And um, with the rock you're about to pick up, you can make better tools. So there's no sense in making a whole bunch of wood tools. You're basically just wasting your wood that you could use for handles, doors, and a number of other things. There we go. Uh, quite a bit of coal here. This is going to... Uh, and I should have put more importance on this, but I didn't. <laughs> um, you need coal uh, before nightfall, because that's how you're going to make torches. Torches keep away... I didn't even get this far into it. <laughs> that at night bad guys spawn and uh, it could be a number of things um, zombies, spiders um, or creepers or uh, or skeletons uh, zombies basically just run up and punch you they don't do that much not that hard to deal with either um, they're fairly slow spiders are quick in some cases they can actually be faster than you you can't outrun them uh, some cases you can outrun them, um, but they're uh, zombies are about as tall as you. Creepers are about as tall as you. Spiders are two squares wide, so they can't fit through cracks, which is good to use as your uh, as an advantage. Um, oh, missed one. Oh, I missed a bunch. Um, okay, now see, I'm going to go ahead and create a. These are my bricks. One thing I really like about this texture map is cobblestone is actually bricks, and it just looks a lot better. A lot, lot better. Okay, now you're going to notice, now that I got, um, uh, what are these, uh, I guess, stone tools, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to rip through these a lot faster. Oh, yeah, I got plenty of coal. This is good. I'll, I'll be able to cook stuff. Yeah, I don't want to waste wood. A lot of people cook with wood, and that's just not a good idea. Um, there's plenty of people who will explain it to you. Uh, basically, coal just burns um, a lot longer, about eight times longer. I think eight times longer. Maybe not quite eight times. Maybe wood, I think wood can cook like one and a half things, and coal can cook like eight things. Um, I believe everything cooks at a relatively similar um, speed. So it, and coal only has one purpose, to burn. Wood has way more purposes. It's better just not to waste it. Okay, so I'm going to find my little cave that was over here. That wasn't it. Okay, where was it? It's this corner. That's right. I'll go ahead and um, fill this in. I shouldn't be using my pick to get dirt, but I didn't want to drop my uh, tool thing again. Okay. That hurt a little bit. Oh. Goes kind of deep. This might not be the best if there's something in there. In the dark, any bad guys can spawn, whether it's day or night. So that's why night becomes such a problem. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna set this here, make some torches, and just put coal over wood. Again, it can be anywhere in there. You can actually, you don't, I don't even know why I opened up that. You can do it in your own inventory crafting table because it doesn't take 3x3 three three squares. Mostly just tools do. Okay, you just keep clicking and you'll grab more and more torches. Let's see here. 40 is pretty good for now. Um, I got plenty of coal. Let's see here. I'll light this place up so y'all can see it on YouTube a little better. If I'm in a situation where I just don't feel like dropping torches but it's kind of dark or maybe I'm just exploring at night and I don't want to drop a billion torches just so you can see on YouTube, I'll probably edit it so you can see it a little bit better. And let's see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build a shovel so I can get some dirt. Dirt's just easier to build with. 
Um, a lot of people, I see them, the first thing they want to do is, I'm um, building a shovel, duh. Um, first thing they want to do is build a house out of um, wood. And that's just a big waste of your resources, I think. I mean, I mean it's up to you, however you want to do it, but, I mean, your first day, you just kind of want to be established. And which, if you see what I just did there, I made a sword out of two blocks on top of each other and a piece of wood. Just kind of like, as if the sword would look. Alright, and that's good, just in case. I have to encounter some zombies. That should be plenty of dirt to close the entrance to this. Should be. So now, see all this sand here? Or it's not sand, gravel. That's what this is. Um, you Gravel's like dirt. Makes similar noise. That's kind of one way you can tell. Um, it uh, it and sand, which sand was out there. I'm sure you can kind of tell what that looked like. Um, it obeys gravity. The rest of the blocks don't necessarily do that. You can actually completely make a freestanding block. For example, like here, this cloth. Or wool. It's just basically floating. There's nothing supporting it. See, there's... And even if I was to knock that top square off, it would just float. And this cloth that I just got from the sheep out there. Um, but gravel, on the other hand, obeys gravity. And I'll give you an example. Um, it can actually spawn floating, but then... There, see how it just fell? It can spawn floating. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. I'll, I'll finish what I was saying. It can spawn floating, but then if you hit it, it'll fall. And everything touching it will fall. So you can be under, like, a gravel cave, and if you accidentally touch it in the wrong way, it will fall and hurt you a lot. Okay, but this thing in my hand is flint. And flint you get from gravel. And I just kind of showed uh, maybe a glitch in the game. I don't know. You can kind of use it to your own advantage. I may actually use it just if I need arrows. A uh, flint makes the tip of arrows, and I'll show you that probably in a future episode. But when you dig through it, you have a chance, like a 1 in 5 chance, I think it's a 1 in 5 chance, of picking up flint. But, as you noticed, I had picked up that piece of gravel, and then I laid it back down, and then when I dug it up again, I got flint. You can do that continually until you just get enough flint, that you, however much you want. No, oh, well, I got two. I, I don't know what time it is, what my time is, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here so I don't have to go too much over my time and the next video I'm actually going to show you how to fight so it's pretty easy I fight the different uh, creatures all right so thanks for watching hopefully you'll stick around and you like what I got all right catch you later bye